Dorenda, you are a mean, nasty little wench. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up, Hampton Knights? It's your boy, Hampton Spears. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, Episode 4, Hunty. And let me say this. Dorenda, you're a mean girl. Dorenda, you're a mean, 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 mean old woman. I shouldn't even say girl, old woman. You look like Cruella DeVille. You, 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 you really do, girl. You really do. Let me tell you something. The way you treated Tamra was very rude. Very rude. So nasty and so rude, like Nini would say. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you speak to your guests like that? I understand you have your rules and it's your house, but at a certain point, sometimes it's like, is it really worth it? Do you want to pick your battles? Do you want to fuck up friendships? Do you want to hurt people's feelings? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? The bitches are staying only for eight days, and let's not act like you clean in the damn room, ho. You ain't clean as shit. You a rich bitch, okay? Brunk, brunk. Kudos to you, but you ain't clean in the shit, and it has no effect on you whatsoever, so why are you so pressed? And Tamara gonna cry, okay? She crying, clearly is upset. You gonna turn it right back on a hoe and start crying too. Well, damn, bitch. Well, damn, bitch. Where is your empathy? Where is your empathy? You one of them hoes that always gotta be right. Honestly. You really one of them hoes that always gotta be right. And you want home turf advantage, ho. You want home turf advantage. They at your motherfucking house. You can kick them hoes out at any motherfucking time. You go, bitch, get the fuck out of my house, ho, with your wig, with your wig. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't like that. I ain't like that. And you know, that hurt Tamara's feelings. She was kind of feeling some type of way, and she didn't go to the motherfucking workout. What you think, ho? You told her not to go to the damn workout. So it's stupid, stupid. Now, another thing I did not like, they have the dinner, the tea party after. She's, they're having a conversation. It's between Vicky... Dorinda and Tamara. Eva, why are you in the fucking mix, bitch? Why the fuck are you in the mix? You're going to insert yourself. That's one thing I never liked you. Inserting yourself in shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. You need to get another hairstyle. Because, look, Eva, I know that, you know, you're trying to make yourself look more African with the hair. I know that. I know that, okay? Because your hair is normally very straight and European. And people dog you for that, you know, and say you have light skin privilege or whatever. And I see what you're trying to do with your hair to make it look more Afrocentric. But, girl, that looks fucked up what you got on top of your hair. What the fuck is that? What is that? You look fucked up up girl you need to change it honestly back in season 11 of real housewives of atlanta when you first came you had that straight hair girl you looked it good you looked it good you was a bad bitch go back to that fuck them hoes that get insecure fuck them hoes that get insecure hunty wear your motherfucking hair wear it okay okay um, or go back to that short hair, honey, that you had at that reunion, child, with that swoop. That's good, Eva. Don't hide. Don't hide it, honey. Do you. Do you. But, yeah, stay out of the mix. You just, you doing too much. We know you want the camera time. It's like, okay, just do you. You already getting drunk. You know, just stop the thirstiness. Let the, let the drama be organic, okay? Do like Phaedra doing. Phaedra ain't in no drama, but she's still a valuable part. I like her ad-libs. Do your ad-libs. Stay out of the motherfucking drama unless it got something to do with you. Okay. What else had happened? Look, it was just a bunch of partying, drinking, dancing, yelling, everything. It was just great. Um, at the speakeasy party, child, they had some naked hoe with the best body stripping, honey. Did you see that burlesque dancer? Shit, I'm gay, but damn, that bitch had a good body. I was like, okay, hunty. Apparently, Brandy and uh, Tamara thought so. They were whooping it up in the motherfucking kitchen. I was like, yes, you white girls better do it, honey. You white girls better do it. However, you know, in the other room, you know, Eva says she's going to bed innocently. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I got to do my radio station at 5 a.m. Jill... You know, she says, you know, jokingly, oh, can I be in on your radio station? Can I come in at 5 a.m. and can you interview me and I can sit on your bed? Da, 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 da. And then Dorinda's like, don't do that. That's so weird to ask that. How dare you ask that to her? And da, 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 da. You did it so hard that you ended up making Jill cry. That's the second person you made cry this episode. Where is your empathy? 
Where is it? You come on too strong, Corella DeVille. And again, she's crying in the confessionals, crying. You're just like, no, da 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 da, -da. Don't go in her room, da 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 da. You're dramatic. And then you start crying. You flip the script and put it on people. That's not right. That's not right. Honestly, and there's a there's this side is coming out on you, Dorenda. I thought you were really cool, but slowly we're seeing the negative sides coming out. Look, and I I I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Um, what else had really happened? That bourbon, that bourbon, that brown brown that they must be drinking. They got them hoes fucked up. They was crying. Dorenda slurred her words. That I feel this way. It's just like, damn. Can I have some? Oh, to be rich. And to think that Dorinda actually lives in that whole mansion. Like, her, well, it's in the family. That's old money. That is old money. That's the best type of money because it's not bougie. These new hoes and with these new money, got to flash it by all these cars and shit. That's because they, they ain't got nothing. They ain't used to, they ain't used to have this shit, okay? Because they broke and they just got some money. Old money don't got to be flashy. Oh, <laughs> I've had this, darling. I've had this. My family's had this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, anyway... I'm trying to think, you know, what else that happened, you know, I'm really trying to think, you know, maybe, you know, I cannot, you know, remember because, you know, you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, y'all, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell button so you can be locked into when I upload on this channel. And I will see you on the next video.